out of there, pipe smoke, out of there, pipe smokers. I, uh, this is going to be kind of a response to uh, Kel's inquiry about pipe collecting and a follow up to my last video. First off, uh, answer Kel's question about pipe collecting. For me, I I buy pipes uh, uh, from a lot of criteria, how they look, how I think they're going to smoke, uh, the quality, and whatnot. Now, I have some uh, basket pipes that I bought early when I started uh, collecting pipes uh, that were pretty cheap, uh, and I got them basically so I'd have enough pipes to make an adequate rotation and have a enough time to let them dry out between smoking them. But uh, by and large, it's a it's a very subjective kind of thing. It's a personal preference. Uh, uh, I don't like a lot of the straight pipes and the billiard shapes that a lot of people do. Uh, I, I just, uh, and I, I buy pipes uh, with different size bowls depending uh, on uh, how long a smoke I want. A big bowl going to last me longer, of course, and some of the smaller bowls if I only have time for a, a short smoke. So that's pretty much my criteria. The Meershams, I've always wanted a Meersham, even when I was smoking pipe in my 20s. I, I really liked them, and I never got around to getting one, but this time around I, I decided I want to get them and make you said well that's pretty much my take on collecting pipes it's, a, it's aesthetics and practicality and usefulness now the follow-up to my last video is this after uh, I got a lot of really fine suggestions about Burley's uh, to try, which I will get to, but in the meantime, I took some of that light burly that I got from my tobacco shop, and I mixed it half and half with a, uh, another blend I got from there. Uh, it's just it's just a uh, a uh, light or black Cavendish. Uh, they call private reserve, but I mixed it half and half because reading that Captain Black was at Burley and, and uh, Black Cavendish, figured I'd mix the two and see how close I came to it. And I did, and I made an A-B comparison. And uh, what I come up with is what I'm smoking right now, this mixture of the Black Cavendish and the uh, Light Burley, and it's better than the Captain Black, and I, I made an A-B comparison with Captain Black. Without the tongue bite, uh, now I really haven't let them set long enough together so that they can do like the tobacconists say, Mary, uh, but it's really an excellent smoke. I, I'm pleased with my little experimentation. And I just thought I'd throw that out there for you folks. The, uh, one other thing I'll just mention in passing is I notice a lot of these uh, pipe smokers are using those softies and putting rubber tubing over their bits and mouthpieces. Well, for my part, I, I couldn't deal with that. That seems to me like, uh, like sucking on a pacifier. I guess uh, whoever inherits my pipes or buys them <laughs> in the estate sale will just have to deal with buffing out my teeth marks because I clench them and I don't bite through them, but I clench them and uh, I don't like to be sucking on a pacifier. <laughs> or, or as one feller put it, a, a condom on his... <laughs> 
on his uh, bit. So it's curious, uh, or not curious, but it was interesting. I found that uh, Captain Black is made by the same people that Lane Limited that make the 1Q and the uh, RLP6 that uh, Cal recommended. I, that was curious to me. So. Uh, you folks might want to take some of that in consideration if you're thinking about trying Burleys and, and, and that. So that's about all I got for today. I just thought I'd throw that out there and uh, keep touching base. You guys keep making the, the videos. I'm enjoying them. Tamper Peterson, you make some more. You, uh, you tickle me. <laughs> all right, folks. You take care and uh, have a nice day. And thanks for subscribing. Bye now.